That's what's All right, broadcasting live from the actual live place where we're actually doing live video games here in Herndon, Virginia. This is Speed Gaming Live 2023. Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Bob Tastic. Joining me today here is a quiz ball. How you doing? Doing all right. How are you? Excellent, excellent. All right, so today we've got, coming up in our group matches here, we've got homemade beer versus Zero Rush. Uh, both rather excellent runners last time I checked. Uh, yep, we're still in the uh, group stage of the uh, competition here. Uh, homemade beer is actually one in one. Uh, this is actually Zero Rush's, Zero Rush's first uh, race, so he'll be putting himself on the board either with a win or a loss today. So at the end of this, uh, how this is going to work is the winner of each group is going to be automatically advancing, whereas the runner-up will have to have a play in the race. I uh, just now got the pun on uh, uh, homemade beer screen. That's uh, rather glorious, Cerveza. I love it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, moving right along. We're kind of getting a few things together right before the seat starts. You want to talk about the mode real quick? For those who uh, seen yeah. Yet? yeah, we could do that. Um, so we did have a couple of races of this shown already but once again this is basically your your standard mode it's kind of like casual boots except it's a little harder uh there's a few extra mo uh a few more restrictions you're only going to get blue mail you're only going to get uh, two bottles both of which are empty uh, several other little things but we are here underway wow homemade beer just going ahead and saying okay. no thanks to that first chest <laughs> That is certainly a decision one can make. Right. That is one of the plays of all time. <laughs> uh, you know, it took me forever to realize that even though you don't have a sword, like, visually here, you can dash through things. Yeah, even though it's not present, it just it still has the full effect. You can't slash things, but you can dash through things. Uh, there, there's a distinction there that's kind of important. Uncle gives us the OK Boomer, the Red Boomerang. It is, it is pretty OK. Though I kind of have that opinion of both Boomerangs, not going to lie. Yeah, I don't, you know, they, don't, they don't get used too much except some very niche cases. Yeah. All right, rest of the escape pretty standard here, just uh, dashing our way through. Let's see what else we got going on. Guards not treating Zero Rush well. Sometimes the RNG just get you. There's the only shield we'll be seeing. Yep. Uh, there are three shields in the pool, but of course, picking up another one would just result in some sort of ruby drop. Uh, and of course, the, the icon would also be changed to a ruby drop if it were a visible item. All right, so there's really no ahead. way to tell what those were going to be. Well, maybe they're using that boomerang kind of as intended to stun a couple enemies. There's our map. It's, uh, I mean, unless homemade beer wants to skip another chest, you should probably check the sanctuary chest. <laughs> Just the memes for real, man. All right, on to the ball and chain guard down here next to Zelda Cell. Always, uh, you know, it's a bit of a strat here. Zero Rush really close to the door there. If you got too close, it would have been uh, potentially dangerous for your time uh, as ending up having to read that door text several times because you're on a thing. Mm -hmm. it, it could get pretty nasty. I always freak out when I see someone drive the guard that close to the door. Cause I'm like, I remember that taking me way too long to get out of. All right, uh, both runners making the dash out of escape. No surprises here. Um, 
Yeah, and we don't. We already know what's going to be in the very next chest because we haven't gotten our small key yet, so there's no more surprises, <laughs> at least Absolutely. until we get to the back of the escape. Yeah. So this is all execution at this point. And I think, honestly, the... Al almost the most important thing, or the most... Uh, uh, the best reason to do a boot start for standard stuff is so you don't have issues where one person picks up bombs and the other one doesn't, you know? Mm -hmm. yep. So you can always, both players can in fact reach the uh, back of escape here. Yeah, although it seems, it seems kind of ironic. It's Ever since we made this a, we declared this was going to be a casual boot seed, it seems like there's always been a bomb drop somewhere along the pool in Fair every enough. seed that we've played. I'm sure the next seed will it'll, it'll, it'll be absent, and then my comment will be useless. <laughs> All right, and there is our key, so we're going to get to the uh, the rest of this escape sequence. Three more items, and then the sanctuary item, and then we'll see what our runners decide to do. Uh, some will go for some may go for the standard cat play. Some may just bail and go to the South Shore. It just depends on how you're feeling at the time, I imagine. Yeah, there seems to be like this, uh, this 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 question in the community. Do I even bother checking the map? So there's some runners that won't even bother looking at the map until it becomes relevant. Yeah, yeah. I've I've seen some people. Um, I've seen some people try to avoid checking the map until you get to the Dark World, mm -hmm. right? Because you get more information out of the Dark World map anyway. Um, and then if you somehow don't have all the information you need, you can pick it up at the other side. That was an interesting bonk there. Yeah, I don't know if I've seen that before. <laughs> and we have a bug net. All right, I go one. Can Beautiful. Now be, can now be com combated with that bug net. Although we have the sword already, so I don't know why we need that. Yeah. All right, Punk Rocks, a typical first chest here when you have the boots already. Just cash. I know I have heard that MSU somewhere before, and it's slipping my mind. Oh, this MSU? Yeah, yeah. this is the Bomberman 64 soundtrack. Oh my goodness, you are absolutely right. That's what it is. All right, we. Oh my goodness! Wow. I'm not going to say that too loud in case it gets into our uh, runner's ears, but we have a heck of a thing there on the lumberjack cave. That is the moon pearl, and we did find a book sitting in the lost woods over here. Uh, so desert's going to be open, and I'm certainly not going to say no to 300 rupees just lying there on the ground. So I guess the good news about the moon pearl being in that particular location, runners are going to have to get that at some point. Yeah. They're not going to be able to avoid that the entire seed. And it does look like Homemade Beer is going to go ahead and get that information himself. So it's, we're not going to have an asymmetric information situation for too long. Or... See the smirk on his face when he sees that moon pearl. He's like, oh, it's one oh, of these. Beer's like, oh, one of these what did seeds. I, what did I get myself into? Uh, there is going to go for the chest there. I mean, if you're going to go for the south, like skipping Kakariko and going for South Shore play, that's not a terrible idea, right? So, here's, um, so we do have some divergence here. So we're going to see Kak over here on Zero Rush's side. We're going to see South Shore on Home here side. All right, we've got a. Ether Medallion in Blind Sight, as well as a cape. That is one of the pieces of the Aga puzzle there. And a hook shot, hello. And over here in Mini Mold Arm. Ice Rod Ice on Rod. the uh, generous guy <laughs> there. Uh, and he's got a blue cane next to him. So both blue magic rod things. I believe I saw crystals on every location there, including a crystal six at Desert Palace. 
Yep. They're, they're very quick checks there, but that's uh, that's what I saw as well. <laughs> All right. So we've got a some more piece of heart. Uh, that is a glove in the well. All right. So we. So one thing you expect to see in this uh, seed is a lot of pieces of heart because the way the uh, the hearts have been reshuffled is the vast majority of them have moved into pieces of heart. And then I think there's, what, two there's, full hearts? Uh, there's one? two boss hearts and then the sank heart. Oh! Ah, right. Two boss hearts and the sank heart. Yeah, those those green crabs do two full hearts of damage, and so... Yeah. You get tagged by one of those, and you have lost a heart somewhere else along the way. And I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Homemade Beard was setting up the water lock, so probably was a little disappointed not being able to hold on to that. Actually, I just realized where where I've... Oh, there's a Master Sword there on the Lake Hylia Island. All right, so at least I, they're, not, they're not locked in GT. I guess that's a good news. Yeah, very nice. Um... Oh, hello, uh, Vanilla Bottle. Good place for it. We can just immediately go say, hey, sick kid, give me your item. So I just realized where I actually heard that song. I mean, I have played Bomberman 64, but but the place I've heard it most recently is in the uh, Super Mario Star Road hack for N64. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... That is a completely irrelevant thing, and we're getting back to the actual race here. So Zero Rush found a second bottle on the library shelf there, decided to go ahead and skip it because there's two more bottles out in the pool. And I'm sure yep. that Zero Rush is just thinking, oh, I'll probably wind up picking up one of those in a chest somewhere along the way. If you we saw one of those three rare hearts on the uh, race game. Yep, and Zero Rush also just leaving that leaving that behind. Uh, homemade beer is going into Eastern Palace here. Um, yep. He did pick up the Master Sword there in Sahasra's closet, so he's looking just probably for a lamp to confirm. Well, he already, he already knows he's going to be doing that at some point because of the, because of the moon crawl. But. Speaking of relevant things for Eastern Palace, Zero Rush picked up the lamp in the... Oh, there uh, we go. In the, in the dam here, which I was going to say, I'm not entirely certain Homemade Beer checked that, and he did not. Yep. So, uh, yeah, one one lamp free and available, which is, I guess, technically the other piece of the Aga Puzzle. Yeah, so these runners have what they need to go ahead and get their Moon Girl, so probably going to... Go ahead and do some of these easy uh, light world checks before they commit to doing that. Because once they once they do that, you know they're going to be able to get into uh, get it, get over into to pod and probably you know they've got the hook shot and so they're going to be able to kind of do the whole death world or, sorry dark world loop. Yeah, and they got the hook shot and that uh, that glove as the the means to get up to the north side there from the pyramid. Uh, you need either the glove or a hammer or the flippers, mm -hmm. which is a uh, obscure bit of knowledge that you don't necessarily know unless you've done this a bunch. I'm not saying I spent like 30 minutes wondering what in the world I was supposed to do. I don't know what you're talking about. We've all been there. All right, so homemade beer now in the dark doing the dark thing in Eastern Palace. The wonderful sound of small key pickups. Yeah, Zero Rush set up that water wall. He's gonna go ahead and start running on the, uh, the water over here. Looks like he's gonna go take that straight to the Waterfall Ferry. Yeah. yeah, if you're going from there, you're definitely going straight to the Waterfall Ferry and you're not going to uh, our bridge dweller. Uh, yep. Not a lot of value in there. I'm surprised you didn't uh, check to see what the fairy was handing out. It's always a nice opportunity to see if you can get a free blue potion out of it. But oh yeah, I had. I mean, if so you're, if you're, many free blue potions in my previous. Oh, oh look at that! Kind of gross. Uh, I don't 
Well, well, all right. So there's there's ways to set up the uh, the fake flipper here or the splash delete here. So I mean, we got we've got bombs. We've got we've bombs, got the red boomerang. Red boomerang. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, he picked up that red rupee, so he right, lost yeah. the water walk. So he's we're done. Quick. Yeah. So he's just got the information. So now he knows yeah. where his mitts are when he's when he's ready to get them. Zero Rush going ahead and saying, all right, it is time to do Aga. So. All right. Yeah, there's not a whole ton you could do outside this. You could theoretically go up the mountain. Yeah. Um, wouldn't be the worst thing that could happen. I think Homemade Beer just uh, freeing one of his fellow chickens before, uh, before liberating that bottle from that, uh, from, from that chest. Oh, Zero Rush going for Ether Strats here. Yeah, if you're going to use a Medallion Ether, is actually the one with the shortest an animation, and that uh, certainly makes these Bowling Chain Guards a little easier to deal with. I might have picked I'm up not going to lie. Yeah, I was going ex to was ex I was gonna say, I'm expecting Zero Rush to ch pick one up and chuck it at the other one, but yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, it's all right. Okay. And, again, this is not key sanity or anything, so we don't really have any suspense about what's going on on Zero Rush's side. Uh, other than the fact that, I mean, it's green male fighter sword Aga Tower with four hearts. I don't love that. I'm not a huge fan of having to do that particular endeavor. Yeah, especially when you get up going near the top and you've got those red cards. It takes so many hits to, to, to take down. It's just not a fun time. And homemade beer over here, just picking up all those Kakariko checks that Zero Rush already picked up. Mm -hmm. The upside for homemade beer is when he gets to the when he gets to Aga Tower, he'll at least have the Master Sword to mm -hmm. uh, deal with that mess. Yeah, that's the place where your NMG uh, strats can actually come into play. Mm -hmm. Homemade Beer about to pick up that hook shot as well. And we've got Zero Rush finishing off those red guards. Here I was worried about hearts. <laughs> I'm sure I would have had issues. Yeah, I mean, runners of this level are, you know, are something, something else. I mean, their, their ability to navigate this game without taking damage is constantly amazes me. Mm -hmm. All righty. Taking Zero Rush up to Aga 1. He'll deal with that. And Homemade Beer is going to pick up the lamp right here. Right, this will probably be the thing that sends him up the uh, up, up to Aga 1. I feel like there's very few scenarios in which you'd want to go up to Aga Tower without the lamp uh, in a seed like this. Both without the lamp and without the fire rod. Right. So, you can, you know, so you have absolutely no way of see anything. We are going to see Homemade Beard go for the Aginas Cave play here. Or maybe Desert. Like, Desert is a thing. Oh, yeah. We, we have the book. We can go and peek in there and see if there's anything yeah. more. Well, the lamp gets you the whole dungeon, doesn't it? Yeah. That'll do it. So we know that the mitts are over there oh, next to Zora, so that can't be that can't be progression, so maybe Homemade Beard is hoping for a hammer. That is a very bright green desert. My eyes. I feel like I'm in the Emerald City or something. Alright. Zero Rush is just getting too many unfortunate blue projectiles right now. I know. It's... What are, the, what are we on the third or fourth cycle here at this point? It's one of those things where... All right, there we go. That ends the fight. All right, 
Zero Rush doing the bunny thing. I'm probably gonna just go check this item and then I would imagine go pick up a Moon Pearl. Just this, this 10 bomb starter pack here. The beautiful 10 bombs. All day, every day. Meanwhile, Homemade Beer made it all the way up to 5 hearts. What a concept. Well, he'll have 25% more health than Zero Rush on his Aqua Climb. Homemade Beer also making sure to stock up some arrows there. Uh, just with that uh, knowledge of where things are. That's going to be both items for Desert, so... Yeah, and they were both pieces of heart, so yeah. it's not really doing much for us. Yeah. Other than just making us a little healthier. Though, if you know, if I'm homemade beer, I'm probably just going to go ahead and finish it, because... Yeah, you're here. Yeah. Alright, Zero Rush is going to go ahead and head up the mountain here. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense here. We've got, uh, we've got the hook shot so you can get all of the stuff on East Death Mountain. There's not yet a way to get to Tower of Hera, uh, but that could be a thing in one of these places, who knows. Yeah, there's upward of like 10 checks here, so either... The one thing we do know is he's not going to be able to go to the East Dark World situation mm -hmm. yeah. on account of that glove being on Zora Ledge. But who knows, flippers might be up here and that could be what it wants you to do. Yep, or the hammer, in which case then you'll be able to get to Hera from the Light World. I don't love having to do, you know, 17 trips through... Oh, oh no. That's a mushroom yep. in Spectacle Rock, so Zero Rush is going to go go out of his way to pick that one up. Some nice ice rod strats going on from Holy nice. Beer. There we go. That was very good. Yep. The semi-intended strats there. Yeah. As, as the game at least heavily hints before you head over to uh, Desert that you should go pick up the ice rod uh, before you do that. I don't know if it's heavily. It's one text box after you pick up the boots, but whatever. There's something you might need, either you know, something that you'll use either in the very next dungeon or like seven dungeons later. Yeah. All right. I'll check Agina's cave, and then I think Homemade Beer is going to resign to having to go take care of Agawan. All right, Zero Rush setting up another water walk here out of Mini Moldorm Cave. Oh, I think what he's going to do is he's going to do, he, he set up the water walk, but he's going to fake flipper yeah, here. Fake right? flipper, go to Bridgman, and then... No, no, see, if you if you do the flake flipper oh, here, yeah. then that gives you the ability to oh, activate okay. the water walk. Right, 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 right. At Zora. And then you and just then get the And down. then get the nits, yeah. Okay. You want to make sure not to move inside the cave here, other mm -hmm. than up and down. Um, exactly. That can be an issue. Yeah, because then the Moon Pearl activates one version of the Water Walk, and then while the other version of the Water Walk is still stored, it's it's this game is well programmed. Correct. All right, how maybe you're making it into Aga Tower? Gonna get some of that action, and that is one Water Walk set up for Zero Rush to get the. Titan's Mitts, and there we go. Now we'll figure out if we actually need the flippers, because you see if the if Swamp Palace just so happens to be a pendant, we may need, not even need the flippers. That would be interesting. Yeah. Alright, so Zero Rush now going to head to the east side of Death Mountain, mm -hmm. having... Uh, already acquired that mushroom from Spectacle Rock Cave. So we've got seven chests here in Paradox Cave, plus an additional chest in Spiral Cave. Alrighty. 
Nothing much there. See on Homie Beer's side, the, uh, the, the the slashes are going a lot faster because of that Master Sword. Oh yeah, absolutely. Taking advantage of a lot of those NMG strats. There's that second bottle for Zero Rush. Yeah, knew so we knew he was going to get one eventually. Yeah. Well, that that was a whole lot of hot garbage uh, for Zero Rush, unless you want to uh, count that second bottle, but. Not sure he doesn't. Well, he didn't want the second bottle on the library. Well, it's not going to move the seed forward. That's the that's yeah. the real crux here. So. See if there's anything in Spiral Cave, and then we'll just oh, we'll, we'll check the floating island. Oh, nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> Zero rush going for the for the uh, net dash bonk fairy and immediate fairy grab. I mean, hey, if you got the bottle space and you got the bug net, might as well. I mean, I, I, I do appreciate that because that fairy will just fly away from you. Mm -hmm. uh, and, just a heart. Yeah. So that's really going to do it for uh, Death Mountain here. Oh, well, he's got the mitts now. That's what. Oh, that's yeah. why he wanted the mitts. Because he wanted exactly. to, he wanted, cause, cause now he can combo this into Hookshot J.K. Right, right, right. And right. Super Bunny. Of course. See, I love it when the runners know more than the commentators, and they, you know, and they, they, they show the commentators up right where they're, while they're running. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I just forgot he picked up the mitts. I literally saw him do it. Yeah, you know, Zero Rush was going for just a tiny little strat there to, to hook shot onto the block and kind of clip through it, just just a little couple Can pixels off. Can you do that without pushing the block on the left first? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, because ever, ever since Quick Swap was enabled, I just switched to the mirror, but obviously we don't have the mirror yet. So. Fair. <laughs> maybe he was just, maybe just had mirror uh, muscle memory. All right, so that's going to do it for Super Bunny Cave, and we've got the good old-fashioned Hookshot Cave coming up here. I'd probably also... Okay, we got our back check here. Swamp is a pendant. Mm -hmm. uh, ice, ice is, is a pendant. pendant. Thieves Town is a pendant. Did, what's that? Pod is the other 5-6? Yeah, Pod was the other 5-6. All right. Did you catch what was on Turtle Rock for the entry requirement? Oh, no, I did not. Okay. I wonder if it was Quake, because Could typically be. what happens is uh, whatever's on... The entry requirements is immediately in Hookshot Cave, especially when you don't have the mirror. Well, never mind. Speaking of, <laughs> I mean, fair enough. The, it's not like they're out to troll us or anything. Well, he doesn't have the red cane anyway, so it's not like we could have done anything about it. <laughs> now watch now him we can get into Hera. Yeah, least. watch him when watch him you're into Hera and get the red cane. I'm just... <laughs> All right, so right. homemade beer is going to go ahead and go for um, the mountain here. I don't believe homemade beer has been to the Zora area. No, I mean, he still has 600 rupees, uh, so he hasn't he hasn't bought his single green rupee off of the uh, scam fish yet. Zero Rush is doing a very nice spin speed uh, heropod right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nope, looks like our tracker did find out it was Ether to get into Turtle Rock, so that Quake was not going to help us anyway. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, we're getting a little bit too uh, close to that ledge with the, with the spin speed. Alright, Zero Rush now headed into... The Moldorn fight. Ooh, we got to do this uh, the intended way. Ooh. We don't have we don't have the hammer, or we don't have any of the upgraded swords, and so 
Alright, here we are in the enraged mode. Alright, he gets it. More aggressive than I would have been. I'd have probably just stood there and waited against a wall while uh, I would have I would have thrown on the cape. The poke. Ooh, cape. Yeah, that is I keep forgetting, cape is a thing that you can use. They have items. And there's this whole quick quick swap thing you can do that's generally useful. Alright, so Zero Rush deals with Hera there. Um I don't think everything was grabbed out of here. I believe he skipped the big key. Well, he picked up the big key, so he was able oh, to get the big chest. So I think he might oh. just skip the basement. Was yeah. high, it wasn't item counting perfectly there. Neither was I. Usually I rely on the chat to uh, keep me straight. But uh, I don't have that in front of me right now. All right, Zero Rush going to Dark World. We're going to check out Skullwoods. We'll see if Skullwoods has any uh, goodies for us, especially because it's a pendant. Definitely, you know, I wouldn't be super opposed to a quick dip into the front of Skullwoods. And luckily, we won't have to go to the boss for sure. Yeah, um, there's one item. Yep. Though, unfortunately, it means that there's no small key there, so we won't really get to go to the rest of it without falling in a hole, and Zero Rush doesn't appear particularly interested in doing that. Yeah, if you fall in a hole, you do you do run into the possibility of getting uh, getting locked in there and having to sit and quit, so... The heart piece on Bumper Cave uh, would have been an interesting place to have an item, because we've got that uh, cape and everything. It's completely uh, available. Yeah, Zero Rush is you know, taking that that mitts advantage here and just running with it. Meanwhile, homemade beer heading over to Catfish, one of the more often orphaned locations. So we'll see if Catfish has anything that uh, that we're gonna miss. Alright, graveyard ledge turning out to be just ten arrows, so. Yeah. Really don't care about that, not one bit. But we may see ourselves a check for King's Tomb. Five rupees on Catfish. Yeah. Not today, Catfish. Not today. I think it's worth noting uh, the stun prize did appears to be a single heart, which, uh, especially with the low hearts we've got going on right now. Now that's a useful piece of information to have. So, you're in GT, you're low on hearts, just stun an enemy, and you're always guaranteed in the heart drop. That's uh, that's that's a good way to get a quick refill. Yeah, certainly works in a pinch. Yep. All right, homemade beer showing off that hook shot way going a way to go counterclockwise around the dark world. Both runners rather close to each other physically, but uh, in terms of items collected. Uh, there is a bit of a difference. Alright, 20 rupees in the sea house. Maybe you're also passing up that piece of heart, which, I mean, who's going to go all the way through Bumper Cave for a piece of heart? I'm not doing it. As pre even as precious as they are in this mode, because you are only going to get like a max of 14 hearts, um, mm -hmm. you know, there's still a few pieces of heart and you'll just going to want to leave behind, and that's probably a good one to, to do that for. Alright, so maybe you're going to go for the 50, get the 50 rupees here in uh, Skullwoods. Don't know if he's going to continue or not. I would bet against it, to be honest. Homemade beer is going to take the risk. Okay. We'll see, we'll see if he can find a key in here. Alright. Homemade beer gets bailed out. 
you, it's not a terrible risk. It's probably maybe like well, maybe ten percent or something. You know, yeah. chance because there's I think there's three whole keys, and so yeah. they just have to specifically spawn in you know on you know behind Mafula or you know behind the back part. Of oh boy! Oh my nice goodness! Huge. Oof. I, I don't see Zero Rush getting back there to find that hammer until he gets his fire rod. So Oof, that's that going to be a hot discussion. minute. Yeah, and the stuff that the hammer locks. I mean, you know, Zero Rush just went in and checked the first four of Thieves Town, but you know, imagine there being something in the big chest of Thieves Town, or you know, imagine there being something, you know, over in Pod at this point. Yeah. No, I mean, theoretically, uh, this does, however, open up a few more things for homemade beer that would not be the mitts. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, it does. Yeah, that, that is true. But, but also, mitts lock up so many things as well. So he's he's gonna get to the mitts eventually. Yeah. You know, mitts mitts go mode is not is not a bad go mode to have. Oh, and yeah, we got a we got a tempered sword. I, I guess we didn't pay attention. Yes. Zero Rush picked up his master sword over there on the chest game, which made it turn into tempered sword for homemade beer. Ooh. Zero Rush is doing the Smith sequence right now, which means he's probably gonna be orphaning those hammer pegs. Mm -hmm. So now and so now you hope that Zero Rush doesn't you know doesn't leave something behind important there. And it may not have been readily apparent, but yes, R Zero Rush did in fact uh, go into the front of Thieves Town and grab the first four and bail. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad strategy, although remember Thieves Town is our green pendant, so in addition to the four items that we have in here, you also get the extra item from the Saha turn in. So there is that little extra bit of worth here. Yeah, I think Zero Rush just has so many more things to check, especially with that mirror uh, down here, that it's probably a better idea to just do oh, okay. something. Well, looks like, it looks like Only Beard is deciding to take the long way out, which, uh, since he does not have the mirror, is going to be a death warp. And there's a blue male sitting in K45, which is just the thing you want to see for this mode. Absolutely. Now, there's two of them in the pool, so uh, yeah. Homemade Beer might find one in a different location. All I'm saying is if, it re if Red Mail is for cowards, call me a scaredy cat. Uh, <laughs> red Mail is for finishers. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> Zero Rush having a bit of an issue picking up that. It's not uh, the, you know, he just, he just couldn't see where it was as right. he stood those two guards around top of it. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're doing a great job of hiding it. All right, so I mean, theoretically, if he, uh, if he was just going to do this, he didn't even really need to pick it up. Yeah, 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 it's just a little bit, a bit of a glitch where you can, as long as it still exists in the world, it kind of exists, like, as you near back, so... Okay, Zero Rush going around over to the cave, informally known as Hype Cave. The early builds of the randomizer uh, would very heavily put uh, progression items in this cave, and so it kind of got that nickname early in the randomizer days. However, today, what do we have? So far, not a whole lot of anything. Uh, all right, yeah, 300 rupees. I'm not going to sneeze at, but uh, yeah, it's mostly just money. I health. like a French vanilla 300. Yeah. There. Well, that's kind of the interesting difference. So, Helmet Beer doesn't have the mirror yet, so his save and quit options are actually um, light world based, whereas Zero Rush always saves and quits to the pyramid uh, if he's in the dark world. It's a little quirk about. Uh, Randomizer if you have both Mirror and Aggo undefeated. Something you always want to be paying attention to. You know? <laughs> it's something I always seem to forget when uh, when it matters. Okay, Zero Rush going to go turn in that mushroom. That mushroom. Yeah. I've been holding on to this for a while now.
Oh. oh. Okay. Well, got ourselves a fire rod. So, I mean, I, that's that's good news for Zero Rush. That's going to push him back towards the hammer. Yep. Definitely going to need that. What else do we need? We need the Cane of Samaria uh, and the Flute. And... I mean, that might be it. Uh, bow. Oh, yeah. Eh, who needs a bow? Yeah. Overrated. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you can't uh, you can't jam the arrows directly in the uh, the Igor's eyes. You have to you have to project them somehow. So, look, I tried. They won't let. Beer was trying to set up the spin speed there, but kind of getting trolled by the uh, the Donkos there, putting fire all over the stairs. Try and get your spin speed now, they say. See if homemade beer makes the same decision to uh, to leave the item in the basement behind or stick around and, uh, and see what that last item is. Good news for Zero Rush fans, he is heading back to Skull Woods. Does look like he's going to go to the back of the uh, dungeon first. I don't imagine he's going to leave this a second time without checking everything. Yeah, I think generally the meta here is in terms of skull woods clearing is once you have the ability to kill them off do them off first because then you know you're always going to get that item you would hate to check a bunch of chests and then realize the item was on moth the whole time right yeah and then come back and clear the dungeon if you haven't gotten the item by then i mean going for this middle chest here as well is not a bad idea yeah i mean you're, you're gonna yeah you're gonna be running by it anyway so all right so who might be going to have a much less annoying uh, oh, I was going to say Bomberman fight, Moldorm fight. What's wrong with me? Uh, that's all right. You're, you're hearing the music and you're, you know, it's, it's on your mind. Yeah. Looks like Zero Rush is getting ready for a very low health Mothula fight here. Uh, and he's taking the damage to get out of bunny mode so he can get to the oh fight my. faster. I was going to say, I might pick up that pot. Yeah, just for the one extra heart. But yep. still, everything in the arena is going to do a full heart of damage, so he doesn't have a lot of margin for error here. Yeah, you, you don't really love that. All right, well, there is a mushroom for homemade beer. Going to pick up that, which will eventually lead to the fire rod. I don't, I don't know why I doubted Zero Rush at all. He did that basically in one hit KO mode. Didn't yeah, take what, a single point of What damage. am I worried about? <laughs> and homemade beer showing off the bomb jump over that gap there to get back. So that was kind of technical. Both these runners showing off their high-level technical skills in this game. Like for a lot of for a lot of bomb jumps, you can sort of like push yourself against it and act like you're going to fall and then uh, sort of like release the sword and push back and then you'll spin when you're on the last pixel so you yeah. set that up. That is not possible for that particular bomb jump because you have to do it kind of inside the wall. And so yeah, I've, I've tried that bomb jump many times and it just doesn't work and then of course the penalty for missing that bomb jump is falling down you know, that pit of despair. <laughs> I mean, just hover it, right? Yeah, well. Um, <laughs> uh, we're getting that discussion started now. I don't nah. <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of people here who could do that. Uh, I'm going to need to sit down with one of them and have them teach me. 
All right, homemade beer back in the dark world. Uh, you can see it looks like he's heading over towards Pod. Zero Rush going to go ahead, uh, do the full due diligence here, clear out Skull Woods. He'll get to that hammer eventually. It's probably going to be the last item he opens. I looks imagine like, so. Yeah, look at the, the route he's taking here. Looks like he's going to do the uh, counterclockwise loop, which means he's going to be doing the, 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 the just last. But hey, we're going to get the item, and that's what's going to be important. All right, so we are getting uh, a dip into Palace of Darkness for homemade beer. Zero Rush there picks up the hammer. You can kind of see the look on his face. Mm -hmm. like, there it is. Where have you been all my life? So we, this Palace of Darkness has just gone into like monochromatic mode. I mean, the walls are basically the same colors. It's just the floors and everything else. It's like the Twilight Zone. Yeah. You see a door. Behind this door is a dungeon. This door must be opened by a monkey. You've entered the Darkness Palace. Anyway. <laughs> oh, and there, flippers and sitting there's there the flipper. in pod. All right, that's going to push all my beer back to the Zora area, hopefully. And that, yeah. that'll level them as minutes. You know, truth be told, it doesn't look like he's too far off the path. I mean, both runners are on two crystals at this point, so they're not too far gone from each other. So, And at least it's impossible for you to, once you get the, those flippers, it's impossible for you to get, like, baited into Swamp, mm -hmm. right? Because you have to go get the mirror off of Death Mountain before that can happen. Yeah. Now, that... Being said, there could absolutely be something in Swamp. Unless there isn't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that so is how is like, re it, reality like, tends to do. It's like a Schrodinger Swamp. There's like, there's always something in there until there isn't something in there, in which case there is something in there, but then there isn't. Right. Oh, boy. Now we got a flute. All right. So that mobility, is another one of the things we definitely needed. So when zero, you know, so obviously zero rush following homemade beer into the into in, into this area, he's going to pick up that flute and he's immediately going to be starting to think about Meyer area. So for those of you who don't know, uh, those those rupees in the big rupee rooms, they are not sprites. They are part of the background, and the game just knows that those are rupee spots and knows to change them. Uh, oh, which is why... You said hovering. Uh-oh. 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 Oh. <laughs> this is a very technical hover, too, oh, yeah, because not in addition difficult. to you actually being able to do the hover mechanic, which is only releasing the A button for one frame at a time. You've got to get into the rail at a particular pixel angle and then come down. Oh, there we go. Zero Rush does it. There you go. Well played. Very well. And this gets around the bow requirement. try that at some point. Yeah. It gets around the bow requirement. So, uh, so you can see Homemade Beer went ahead and got out because it looks like he ran out of keys. Uh, Zero Rush had got a couple extra keys from the, uh, the bow lock side. Yeah. So he's going to start opening a couple extra chests. Both runners are going to be stopped eventually by uh, the fact that you need the bow to, uh, to, uh, to hit the statue at the very end. Homemade beer draining all of his magic. Looks like he's about to use that mushroom first to uh, to do the uh, the fake powder glitch and see what's on the magic bat before he turns it in. You can kind of see the puzzle pieces coming together in his mind. He's activating the flute, so then he's going to go check fake powder, so then he knows that he can turn the mushroom in, and then of course that's going to be his fire rod, so he's not going to save Scalmet. <laughs> Just a lot of moving pieces at once, and just the fact that these runners can keep it all straight in their minds is very impressive. Mm -hmm. All right, so Homemade Beer is headed to the Magic Bat situation uh, with that cane. I haven't quite turned in the mushroom yet, which is good. There we go. One fake powder. 
And Tony Rubin. Garbage as you expect. So Zero Rush went for the uh, hammer yump there uh, immediately. Now, Homie Beer will be very pleased with what he finds uh, for that mushroom turn in, I'm very, pretty sure. Oh, yeah, first, he's going to chug a green to get his magic back, and then he's going to get a blue for later. He's got two blues, he's got two battles. Zero Rush uh, counting keys there. So, not worrying about what's in the harmless hallway there. Picking up the flute. And then Zero Rush is going to go into Eastern because uh, Homemade Beer was in here earlier. Uh, but Zero Rush was not. It looks like we're going to get a... What is our first check of the Bridge Dweller? Yeah, Zero Rush was kept kept trying to preserve the water walk, and so we never saw this on his side. Mm -hmm. Well, just a nickel. Rip. And the interesting thing is a lot of the excess items, so like your ex extra swords, your extra bottles and stuff, they are, they are uh, five rupee drops. And so we don't know if that could have been, that could have been a vanilla bottle, and we just don't know it because <laughs> our runners are full up on bottles. True. We did see three different bottles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we did see the one on the library ledge. I think Homemade Beer is closing in on where he needs to go right now. He's about to find those mitts. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, if you find the mitts there, uh, you've, just, you've gotten the cane, you've also got the flute. Um, yeah. I'd be tempted to go start clearing out um, Meyer here. Mm hmm. Or at least, go, really at least go over there and make sure you, you know, so, so you know what. Uh, you know, if it's not ether, you know which of the which of the remaining two medallions you need to, to open it up. Yeah. And if you really, really need, uh, you know, are feeling feeling like you want to hurt for a while, you could go do Ice Palace. But mm -hmm. uh, how about you don't? I mean, maybe, maybe you should. Uh, Pendanice, it's yeah, Pendanice, Pendant Swamp, both of those not seeming very fun right now. There's those mitts. Get the save and quit. So apparently Turtle Rock is in fact a ether medallion, according to the tracker here, so uh, that could be something that uh, Homemade Beer gets to when he gets up there. Yeah, it looks like, all right, yeah. Immediately mitts, he says, okay, I'm going to check a couple of things that are locked by mitts, so immediately uh, the... Where the, was this? Uh, where was the cane of Samaria? Where was the cane of Samaria? I just assumed it was in pod while I wasn't looking. I could be way off. Hey, somebody's got the chat on their phone. What an amazing oh, concept. Yeah, well, well, yeah, it went to sleep on me, so I have to check here. So, chat, help me out. Where was that King of Samaria? It was on Ether Tablet. Oh. Man. That is unfortunate for Quiz Bowl. Because Quiz Bowl only had Fighter Sword up there. That was the real issue. You're Quiz Bowl. Hi. Zero Rush was the person who had that. <laughs> I was reading the name off the screen, and my brain did a dump. That's okay. Hi. It's okay. The ones at the top of the screen. Right. Don't worry. <laughs> yes. I mean, you also you you could also have Fighter Sword if you wanted to. Yes. Yes. I'm not going to stop you. All right. Yes. Like if I if I personally went up to the Ether Tablet, I wouldn't get anything from it either. So because I can't speak yeah. highly. So. Uh, fair. 
All right. Homemade beer is uh, climbing, <laughs> climbing up Death Mountain. Looks like homemade beer is heading over there to, to open up um, <laughs> Turtle Rock because it's... There's, there's generally this kind of rule where it's like, once you have everything to get into Turtle Rock, uh, go to Turtle Rock. <laughs> this <laughs> silly dead rock, dead get rocks. out. All right, mean real, oh, Zero Rush went ahead and go, went, uh, went over to Meyer. Did, did he peek the Meyer medallion? Um, it's possible. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he didn't spam the mirror hard enough on that one. <laughs> just going to reset the room. Okay. Oh, Misery Meyer is the bomb bombos, okay. which so we, we are, do not have. So we are looking for one more t one more medallion. In before checkerboard cave. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the game does that to us. You know, just puts the key under the doormat for us. So, so a little bit unfortunate. Homie Beer is going into Turtle Rock here without having done Hookshot Cave, which has the mirror. So he's gonna have to skip Mimic Cave. Mm. Yeah, you would uh, really hate for the for for what you need to be right there. Right, zero rush into a desert palace here. Yeah, and we saw desert palace already. The only items are in here. We have two pieces of heart, so mm -hmm. nothing super exciting at all. Right. Homemade yeah. beer doing the hook shot trick to get off of that platform early. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, Turtle Rock is very key heavy in the early part. Uh, most of the action takes place at the very end on Laser Bridge. Mm -hmm. That's where the, that's where the randomizer loves to put uh, important progression items. So. Wouldn't be surprised to see both a bow and a bombos tablet right there and put the put our put homemade beer into go mode. All right, into chain chomps. Just don't run into chain chomps. That's a bad. That does not feel good. Yeah, especially with only the blue mail. That's uh, yeah. You can see he got tagged by one. He's already down to just four hearts. Yep. And unfortunately, there's no powder or anything to uh, yeah, and he turn, yeah he turned in the mushroom and he doesn't so he doesn't have his inventory he can't even fake powder if he wanted yeah. to and you you absolutely had to do that mm -hmm. on kind of needing the fire rod here mm -hmm. yeah yeah i've seen some runners where you know they'll turn in the mushroom and if you know it leads to something not really useful what they'll do is they'll just reset the game so that the game doesn't remember that they've done that so that way they can keep the mushroom for fake powder later on in the seed Little known fact: the uh, the lava in here uh, with this palette uh, is actually what uh, inspired the uh, design of Phazon in Super, Super Me or Metroid Prime. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I was gonna say like the uh, like the poison goop in the new Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Ooh, yeah. Do, do, do. Do anyway. Yeah, traumatize some people. Alright, good news is homemade beer knows where all the extra hearts are located here in this dungeon, so as he goes along he's just picking them up, making keeping his health topped off. Yep. Zero rush picking up yet another crystal. Uh, yep, that puts him in the crystal count lead for now, but uh, Homemade Beer will no doubt be able to finish this uh, dungeon off and put it back up to three. Oh boy! Oh ho! Bombos in the big chest of Turtle Rock. Yeah, so now we know that the cane is over there on Ether Tablet. Zero Rush probably is not going to be making it back to this area until, uh, until late. That's really unfortunate for Zero Rush. Like. Like, when are you going to want to come back up here? So that puts Bo Homemade Beer just a bow away from go mode. You could call it bow mode, if, well, you so you desire. Desire. if you so desire. That's right. So now the real question is, what does that mirror actually help or harm him? We know that there's a couple mirror checks that uh, lead to nothing, but we haven't been into uh, Swamp Palace yet, so... 
I mean, both of those could be chilling there in Swamp. Stranger things have happened. All right, it's Laser Bridge time. Yep, this is where all the action happens. All right, there's the key we need to get in the leather door where the other three chests are sold. You got these perfectly good boots, just showing off the bootsless strats here like, it, like it's not even a problem. Oh boy, shuffle. Delayed, right. uh, delayed knowledge there, and that's going to do it. Yeah, of course, without without half magic, of course, there's no half magic in the in this in the pool, right? So the runners will never get half magic. Homie Beer is probably doing his best to preserve magic for the last uh, laser bridge skip. So. Make sure to leave himself just enough magic to do that uh, nice uh, cane strat there to uh, to hit the crystal switches and then gets the full refill. And now it is try next time. Zero Rush. Uh, just check the other tablet. It was not nearly as lucrative. So the tablets are on his mind. But I think Swamp is, is uh, on his mind first. Yep. The siren song of Swamp Suckage. What? <laughs> siren song. It's, it's come check on us. We don't, ha we don't have garbage items. Look at this big 20 and this pack of three bombs. These are precious items that you want. If you're really lucky, you might even get a 300 rupee drop. Alright. Got the initial uh, chest out of the way. We can see the actual action here. Because... Of course, this isn't any key sanity, so there's nothing in that first chest. Uh, All right, we got the big key out of the way as well. Fair. I guess it's nice to have it early because, you know, the game could do something really silly like putting it on Argus, and that way you have to come back in to get it. So, um, Homemade Beer gets the uh, Quake Medallion, which uh, that's going to make Homemade Beer pretty happy because Homemade Beer actually hasn't checked the Meyer medallion, as far as I know, um, and so with all three medallions, now you're now you're cooking. Also a mirror. going he's probably going out right yeah he's probably yeah he's gonna mirror back so you see a runner like me would have saved and quit right there and then be surprised to be back on the pyramid ledge instead and so but but a good runner like homemade mirror mirrors back and flutes away because he knows what he's doing <laughs> all right leading to six all right, Zero Rush going to go ahead and rush the uh, the back swamp. Not going to bother with the left side right this moment. Oh, wait, yeah, Homemade Beer has checked this. He he checked my shed. I think. Mm -hmm. What am I talking about? Yeah, he he he, he knew that, that Bombos brings. was was the thing he needed to get things things going. Zero Rush doing a very nice diver down bomb setup in the absence of a red cane. All right, Misery Meyer. Popping up for homemade beer, kind of doing its best Ice Palace impression right now. It's not quite the same colors, but it's close. And that, that, that purple shade of blue ice. So. Oh yeah, it got real purple there. All right, so, so this is interesting. Zero didn't, Rush didn't, yeah. didn't didn't go all the way to Argus. Instead, he got got to the base of the mirror, and now he's doing left side. So, looks like Zero Rush is not interested in taking on Argus. He's just interested in getting getting the items as quickly as possible. Seems legit. There's the big key of Meyer. We've still got 
Um, we haven't really found a small key, but Beer is gonna just go for the boss, uh, which is fairly reasonable strategy. Yeah, there's only two items here in uh, in Meyer, so he may be thinking, well, uh, my bow's probably locked up somewhere somewhere else, or maybe he'll, you know, he's. Uh, I don't know. It's 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 hard to re-enter Meyer. That's the one thing. It's just that opening room is so is so intense, right? So, so he's probably just committed to. There's two bows in the pool somewhere, so I'll just find a bow somewhere else if it happens to be here, because I don't want to wait for that cutscene chest. Well, the way I see it, um, if you're, you know, you have to clear Meyer anyway, and you're right there. Uh, and so if you happen to get a good, you know, drop off of Vitreus, then, or like, if the bow is there, then, well, hey, we're yeah, done. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, and if it's not there, you can go back in, and it's not that big a deal. All right, left side swamp, as usual, complete and utter garbage. All right, I like I like the cape strats here on Vitreus. <laughs> yes. So, that, because the other nice thing about it is uh, the game sometimes forgets to take away a tick of magic when you, especially when it's trying to calculate damage. So uh, you get a lot more utility out of the cape than you normally would have. I'd have probably um, done some dash strats there, but then again, I am constantly wrong about everything. Well, with uh, tempered, this uh, this fight's not that bad. Oh, just a small key, unfortunately. Yeah, so no items yet found in Misery Meyer. Zero Rush going for Pendant Ice Palace. Again, the two the two really bad dungeons that you don't want to go into: Pendant Swamp and Pendant Ice. So. We're checking them. <laughs> oh, and Zero Rush going in without the cane, so feels bad, man. Yeah, we're going to have to do the Ice Palace bomb jump. What? I mean, given what we've seen with Zero Rush, are you sure it's not going to be the Ice Palace hover? <laughs> I mean, you, you have a point. <laughs> All right, let's see where Beer goes, because he's basically limited to almost the same level of options here. So let's see what he's thinking. Ooh, looks like he is thinking about going ahead and finishing off uh, Skull Woods. He's already got both items, so at this point he's just, all right, I just need to just check this off my list while I'm thinking about what I want to do next. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a bad strategy, right? You know, if, you, mm -hmm. if you're like, well, there's so many places this could be. Let me just do something that I know I need to do anyway while I think about what I want to do next. I mean, the thing is, Homemade Beer has so many mirror checks now. Oh, he had it. He had it, and then he decided, you know what? I'm going to fall in a hole. I don't think he actually decided that. I think it just happened. Yeah, it was just off just a tiny bit there. Well, there you go. One free uh, bomb jump, like you do. All right, it's going to be Moth O'Clock here. So... You know, I don't want to jinx people or anything. But you know where the bow could be. Uh-oh. Are you about to say what I think you're about to say? I mean, maybe. Oh, boy. I wouldn't be surprised to see at least a check of that particular location after this dungeon from Helmy Beer. And, you, and, and have it say that someone has chosen the archer class? Well, I don't know about that, but maybe... Right. It is theoretically possible given the yeah. layout of pendants. That, yeah, that is that is possible. And then the other thing about it is, if the other one's the locked away in GT, definitely could be in GT, yeah. yeah, then that you know that could be your logical progression. <sighs> You've just spoken into the world, and then you may have spoken into existence. What are you doing, Doctor Bob? I mean, look, I'm just here to entertain the crowd. All right. <laughs> it's true facts, right? Well, the mirror is queued up, so homemade mirror might be answering that question for us very, very soon. All right. All right, Zero Rush. We're dealing with that particular mess, and we have yeah, here it is. the upcoming pedestal check. 
Are Here we choosing comes. the archer class? Nope. Oh, just couch catch. Move right along. Rip. All right, so where do we look for this bow? Well, I mean, there's still both items in Misery Mire that Beer decided not to do. Um, yeah, we basically but Beer also out. has all of these mirror checks that Zero mm -hmm. Rush did earlier. Um, yeah, so we're trading some Overworld for some Dungeon Completion on both sides at this point. I think we have, do we have one more item here in, uh, in Ice Palace that we haven't seen yet? Well, we didn't get to the Back of Thieves Town, too. That was the other thing. Oh, yeah, Back of Thieves. Green Pendant could be a thing. Oof. Zero Rush sitting on a half a heart. Oh, there it is. Uh, doesn't he still have that fairy? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. They did the uh, the whole the whole net dash bonk into the fairy, so... There we go. Ah, Zero Rush going to the right-hand side now, because... Of course, you couldn't get there with the. Yeah, with the and, you know, it just it, it just seems so natural to to do that uh, that icebreaker glitch and to get those chests so early in the seed. So, sorry, in the in the dungeon progression. Mm -hmm. Compass in the H room. I think we should call this the P room. And this is the S room. It kind of looks like an S. Yeah, okay. There just right. needs to be letters on every room in Ice Palace. <laughs> well, then you have you'd have like I don't know ten O rooms, unfortunately. Eh. We can call some of them D, some of them Q. Right, this is definitely you. This is absolutely you. There's our big key, so we're gonna check the big chest. And then what is that? That's the that's the addition room. Plus. Yeah. Except there's another plus room. I don't know. At the beginning. This is a D room. Okay. See that? Alright. Anyway. I think right. I think I've had enough fun. This is a K room. Oh, alright, yeah, okay, alright. All right. I can't help it. I'm so <laughs> All right. Well, stop it. We'll, we'll we'll be out of here soon enough. I think we're 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 about to get to the the K. If any room is the O room. That's it. All right. I'm done. We're, we're about to get to the K H O L D S T A R E room. Fair enough. K H O L D S T A R E. And we have reached the uh, we've reached the uh, the musical uh, chairs portion of the uh, the broadcast where we're just so loopy because <laughs> the seat has gone on for an hour ten minutes and we are still looking for a bow. All right, Zero Rush pulling out the fire rod, trying to trying to get those those eyeball puffs down. I think we just got a couple more slashes. There we go. Let's see what you got for us, Gold Star. Oh! The D. That is it. It uh, is bow time. All right. So that is no mode for those of us in the commentary booth, but it is not go mode because Zero Rush still has to make his way up the mountain, get the red cane, and then go into Turtle Rock to get that bomb from down here. So now basically this puts homemade beer on the clock. Will Zero Rush make those checks before Henry Beer go commits to finishing Ice Palace? And that's the question that will determine the course of this match. And Zero Rush, of course, is going to go ahead and finish uh, Palace of Darkness and Eastern first. Right. It, just, it just seems like a logical play. Um, yeah, and this is time that both runners will, will take. It's just a matter of when do they take this time to do this, this these things, right? So. Yeah, yeah, and you're not losing time by doing this, especially because Zero Rush has, you know, otherwise full cleared these dungeons. Mm -hmm. um. 
you take. So we've reached we've reached the point where Homemade Beer is like, okay, I need to start looking in Pendant Dungeons. Alright, so and I think because he's checking Bombo's talent tablet, he might be doing the same thing Zero Rush did and checking. That's his another slot. weird bonk. What's going on with that? Well, uh, beer's just a just a bonk machine today. Just showing off the weirdest quirky bonks of <laughs> Like, those are the kind of bonks that I think if you did them, you might, like, if you did them in certain places, you might end up clipping out of bounds and you might end up, uh, like, breaking some actual rules. Uh, yeah, I mean, do you know how incredibly easy it is to, to get out of bounds in this game? It's Fair like, enough. It's like, balls are just a suggestion in this game sometimes. Yeah. All, like, the basically anybody could do this. Uh, you just go... Jump off a ledge and then before you hit the ground, save and quit, and then go back to where to some other place and just get hit into a wall by an enemy, and you're just out of bounds. Just do whatever you want. Yeah. Don't ever do that in a race, though, because yeah. that is called exploration glitch, and it is very much not allowed. Yeah. So, like, so if you accidentally discover a new way to uh, to get out of bounds while you're racing, just save and quit, and then uh, and then we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, Zero Rush showing us the proper way to take care of these turtles and not letting them go all over the place and lose track of them and you know just have them you know wreck your day. Alright, homemade beer are gonna show off the new specky clip here. Just walk backwards into a bomb and hook shot across and you are I I was wondering why Zero Rush didn't do that. I guess maybe he just hasn't learned it yet. It's it's actually free, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, I mean it's almost as simple as what you just saw on the screen. So if you if you're if you're watching at home and you want to try it, just uh, just fire up the game and try it yourself. Yeah, so just on that platform, go into the bottom right corner, face downward, drop a bomb, then go to the left, hold out your sword, and as it's exploding, walk backwards, and as soon as you get hit, let go, and then you can use your hook shot, and you're there. Uh, looks like Homemade Beer is going ahead and incorporating the left side swamp checks first. Mm -hmm. I do like the strat where you let the bomb go off and then you exit, transition the room so that the, specs, the pegs are still down. But then you do diver down so that when you go into the next room, the, the, the bomb... The bomb um, so doing bomb diver down when you have the cane. <laughs> But then the bomb finishes exploding and puts the pegs up. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you've got the king beer. Why, why, why are you used to that? Uh, I mean, sometimes you might be more used to it. Uh, or you might just be like, I'm on bombs right now. I don't want to remember how to quick swap to the <laughs> cane right now. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you know. As precious as health is to me, it's like, I don't know. That's, but again, that's me and not you know, me. These rooms are like, oh, health, I don't care. <laughs> All righty. Homemade Beer going to deal with the disappointment that is Left Side Swamp, like you do. Kind of see that look in his eyes and like, oh, you mean Left Side Swamp was garbage? How surprising. What? Let me give you my surprised face. Now wouldn't this be interesting? So Zero Rush didn't make it all the way to the uh, to, to, didn't make it all the way to Argus. You know? I wasn't counting items for, very strictly. I, I wonder if Argus may have a map or a compass. But if assuming Argus does have an item, or wouldn't it be interesting if it was the other bow? Yeah. All right, homie beer is getting the game out for the di this diver. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of bosses having the other bow, <laughs> there it is, sitting on our Armos. All right, but bow you weren't you weren't you weren't getting that <laughs> nope. anyway. The only place to get a bow uh, before you can reach those bosses is there in Ice Palace in the Cold Steer Creamery. Uh, 
Alrighty, one key, and we go to Argus for homemade beer. Zero Rush, gonna head over to uh, West Dark World here. Um, all right, Zero Rush doesn't have the cane, so gonna go looking for other things. It's a little unfortunate. Uh, doing the hammer pegs. Yeah. Uh, honestly, though, I wouldn't be surprised if this gets uh, comboed into the back of Thieves Town. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And of course, we know the answer. Oh, big 20 over there in Argus, so obviously nothing much there. But. Yeah, because Zero Rush got to that hammer pretty late, so he's thinking about what what did I miss from the from getting the hammer late. And so, yeah, and you can see how many people are throwing his hands up in the air. It's like, where is this? Where could this thing be? Yeah, the cane is in just the worst spot for Zero Rush because he's got, you know, in order to want to go uh, up there, you're gonna want to have the cane. Mm -hmm. And it's it's on ether tablets, which so is right up there next to. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's always you know the way it is. It's like you don't want to go to the place it is, you know, because you know you you don't want to double take the risk of double dipping. But then that, yeah. that's what the I mean. Shout just out to like do. forty-seven mountain dips. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ice Palace looking relatively normal on uh, beer side here. Yes. It's a little even, bit even greener though it's called than usual. He's getting warmer to where his, uh, his objective is. And so. See, that's also a plus room. <laughs> I'm not going to say what this room resembles. All right. Well, homemade deer has the uh, the red cane, so he's probably going to get ready to do the icebreaker uh, glitch, and, and he's electing not to hit the crystal switch. And so I think what he's doing is he's kind of committing to opening all the chests, and he's going to you know, get all the the keys and the big keys and things like that. If you're go moding this dungeon, you want to definitely want to go back and hit the crystal switch because it puts the pegs in the right position so that you can immediately jump down and face cold stare. But if you're opening the chests anyway, you don't really care too much. You're, you're like, I'm going to get all the keys anyway, so might as well save the time and just open all the, bo all the boxes. All right. Well, Zero Rush is going to show us some things that we haven't seen here in Thieves Town, although, well, sadly, none of them are really going to be relevant. It does look like we never found the small key, so we don't have to worry about the big chest. Yep, the small key is locked away, and it's in the big chest, so we don't have to worry. And we're going to see a blind fight. Do you hate insect puns? I really hate insect puns. So we'll get a, a green pendant here. I imagine Zero Rush will pick the green pendant up. And I will say that was a very, very nicely done um, blind fight. Mm -hmm. it's textbook. No, da no damage at all. Completely scripted. Chef's kiss. Yep. All right, homemade beer is closing in on his goal here, which now puts Zero Rush in the uh, in the hot seat. If Zero Rush were to go up the mountain right now and find his red cane. He could probably still have a chance. He would need to. He would need to start rushing through Turtle Rock, and then he would find his Bombos tablet, and he would confirm his go mode at that point. But it would be very close because he would only have the amount of time it takes for homemade beer to clear Pod and Easter. And I'm not sure how much how much time that's gonna. That would be the difference between those two. And me. 
There's the bow. And the, yeah. the <laughs> just the, the, the look. sheer abject. Why did it have yeah. to be here? That, that was that was the look of homemade beer soul leaving his body, um, as he it's grabbed like, the. Like, yeah, I mean he's you know the, like you, 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 when you're in this position you like all the worst case scenarios are going through your mind. It's like oh no, my opponent found this you know half an hour ago and he's already in GT and he's about to you know he's about to dot done on me or in this case you know raise his hand and say I'm done and you know this is this is just you know like I you know I I hate this game why why do I still play this. Game? <laughs> that little does he know he's actually in the lead at this point oh yeah zero rush is elected to go ahead and start checking the, the pyramid ferry which is going to put him further away from his objective mm -hmm. i mean at least um so some good things for zero rush at least the um the misery meyer play or the misery meyer is about as short as it can be mm -hmm. yeah, it's not it's not perfectly short, but Big Key is right there next to the... Yeah, second second door. best, uh, you know, Big Key placement there in Misery Meyer, so it's going to be a nice, fast um, uh, Misery Meyer there. Um, Though I kind of wish that the Big Key was on the bridge so we could see Zero Rush try to hover it. Yeah. And here we go. Now we're going up the mountain. Of course, of course we can... All right, the Dead Rock was just like one pixel far enough away to get him, let him sneak through. Dead Rocks uh, don't like you, and don't, no. I don't like them. They don't like anyone. The the feeling is mutual. So we see Homemade Deer going down the right-hand side uh, to get the keys that he was not able to get earlier. Yeah, he just needs these keys to, to open the door so he can get, uh, get to the end of the dungeon. Oh, he hasn't picked up the big key yet, so yeah, uh, he's shaking oh, his head. Right. He's got it. So now he's got to go a little further along. Yeah, because the big key is vanilla. Oh, zero rush! You're so close. He elected to go and check Spike Cave before checking eat the tablet. Oof. And so he's saving and quitting. And I don't know, like, like I don't know what sort of um, tracker situation they've got set up here, but it's possible that Zero Rush just might have forgotten that that thing exists. You know? Nah. Yeah, it looks, he's like, he's he looks like he's heading back up. It's just kind of... I don't know. It's like when you're in Zero Rush's position, you kind of want to believe it's something a bit more... Probably like the uh, the spike cave. Then mm -hmm. you know I you know I just neglected to do the ether tablet when I was up, or, or I just wasn't able to do the ether tablet when I was up here the first time, and so that's what's that's what's messing me over. Yeah. So basically, the fact that homemade beer did uh, the Sahasrola Eastern play, which got got him the, uh, the master, master sword, sword. Yeah. That's what makes the difference here between these two rounds. Yeah, and it's not that's not a huge difference. That's just a routing choice at this point. And there it is. There's the king of Samaria. And uh, Zero Rush is uh, it's still one item away, but not uh, happy. Yeah, not happy because that, that technically is not go mode. But um, oh, he's gonna check. Yeah, he's gonna check the basement of Hera before he, before he commits to Turtle Rock. Oh, he might be checking his tracker situation. Okay, he's gonna go towards Turtle Rock. Alright, we've got homemade beer finishing off pod here in a second. Um, yeah, so I think I think homemade beer is pretty firmly in the lead here. Because um, I mean, you just got to mirror finish eastern, yeah, and, then we're, and then we'll be up the mountain and up ready, the mountain. ready to play our little game. So we can. Oh well. yeah. So I'll bring the chat up so that way we can we can start putting those in. Zero Rush entering Turtle Rock again. Right. Turtle Rock we haven't not started defenses. yet. You gotta wait. You gotta wait for the seventh crystal to, to fall. All right, and then oh, you yeah. can start the game. So no no guesses yet. Yeah. I mean, you could put numbers in chat. I wouldn't stop you, but it's not gonna do anything. That being said, it doesn't really do anything to begin. 
it's just people being uh, being silly, trying to come up with their own guesses. And it is basically the world's uh, biggest crapshoot, right? Because <laughs> it's completely, uh, or at least to the best of the pseudo-random number generator's ability, as fair as possible, that all of the, for, for which location it appears in, right? all 22 equally likely in the code, at least. The big key gets placed first, and then the small keys get placed. Right. Like Zero Rush, uh, skip this chest down here momentarily. Um, yeah, it would have been a bit of a problem. Yeah, this is just runner preference, you know, whether you go left or right first, so. But what I'm saying is he he uh, has already opened this door, so he came from... Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. I looked away for a moment. He went here and it was like, <laughs> wait a minute. Hang on, I'm missing something. Okay. And it was important. It was the big key. So. Mm -hmm. Can't beat Turtle Rock without a big key. Um, getting trolled by the chain chomps. And he was trying to get both of those crystal switches hit with that one Samaria bean, but the chain chomp said, No, I'm going to eat that uh, that little bean for you instead. All right, Homie and Beer entering the penultimate room of Eastern Palace. Going to take down some Armos Knights and then uh, get an upgrade to the to the weapon. That you were just using. And a very welcome one at that. Absolutely. But it does mean that he knows his opponent is going to be on silvers as well. Yeah. You can see the head shake and you're like, that's that's awful. And of course, yeah, that's that is awful because we you know we all know that <laughs> that's the only way you're getting a bow is to put a feet cold stare. Alright, that is seven crystals. And now we can start our little game. There are a whole bunch of chests in the basement of GT. Uh, it's twen <laughs> 22, 22 possible locations. Yes, 22 yes. possible locations for IQP. Give us a number. Number 1 to 22. Where do you think that key is going to show up? Dr. Bob, what number do you like to pick for these? Um, well, I used to try... I used to like to pick 14 when the meta was just always go left. But I like to... Because my, my contractually obligated guess is Bob's chest because, duh. Well, yeah. Uh, but... It's usually, depending on the route, it's either 14 or 18 now. And so that's why I don't usually write the number in chat anymore. I just just give a long-winded explanation you just for say, what my thing is. You just say Bob's chest. All right. Yeah. Well, we can, we can still say yours is Bob's chest. I always say the number two because I play this game, and if I put some good vibes out into the world and, uh, and will into existence the, uh, the, the possibility that the key shows up in chest number two, which is usually Hope Room, Maybe in some weird way that uh, the key, the big key, shows up in chest number two for me more often. So we'll see if that actually works. Zero rush there was. Uh, I was about to skip that chest and then realized, wait, no, I went to the middle chest, so I need, uh, I need to get the last key. Yep. And so if that was the last key, you would have been, you would have had some trouble. All, All right. right. So we're gonna cut off the uh, the predictions right now because we are about to enter GT. Helming Beer making the approach into Gannon's Tower. 22 locations, and which way is it going first? It is right. Right to It's very room. hard for me to tell until it actually started moving, <laughs> because the sprite is weird. All right, just a 20 rupees and a small key, so we're going to take that small key. We're going to go full right with that. Or at least to uh well yeah at least it's start st we're gonna start moving right we're gonna see if uh, full right is in our future okay. and some nice magic preser preservation strats there using the uh, using the lamp for a couple of those and silver arrows for these gibdos yeah because why not yeah 
magic preservation is somewhat important in a mode where half magic doesn't exist. Uh, but you can also just get a random full magic decanter. Yeah, three, four, five, and six having nothing for us, just a bunch of random things. Gonna grab the small key. Yeah, now we're doing a full left. Heading over to the torch. We're gonna call this number seven, even if he doesn't pick it up. Yep. And it's arrows. I mean, I'm on 18. That's fine. Yeah, with the silvers, that's definitely enough you know, to get through the. Uh, the arrow checks that you need, or the, the, the enemies that require arrows to defeat them. If he hadn't just picked up the 10 drop from the previous room, it would be was going to be on 8, I was, might have picked it up. 3 hundo. 8, 9, 10, there number 10. So anyone that gets number 10, you win a lifetime supply of randomizer seeds. Yep. Just uh, go to ALTTPR.com or uh, contact Sinek because, of course, he wants to do all the things. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> don't, don't contact Sinek. Uh, Sin Sinek is a great guy. He is. He is at the event today. And so, uh, so shout outs to Sinek. All right. Yeah. Zero Rush now entering at Misery Mire. It's going to be a pretty quick mire. But uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough to uh, make up the difference here. I do like the use of the cape there. Just to, it's like I don't, I don't care about your cannonballs. I'm just, uh, I'm just going to turn on the cape. Well, here's an interesting strat. So the <laughs> the silver arrows create lag, and so <laughs> your switches to normal arrows with quick swap, because you can do that by pressing L and R at the same time. Right. So there's less lag while he fires a couple arrows and sits into some of these enemies. Oh, we've gone to red eyes all of a sudden. Well, uh, this, this do we need blue fire? Yeah, this isn't Zooter. What's going on here? <laughs> All right, Zero is going to get that big key rather soon, so I imagine this will be a quick thing. And uh, how many of you are uh, yeah, missing the, a couple shots with the silvers? Yeah, he was trying to set up the uh, kind of this, this bonk strat to get on the right line there, but I think uh, the, the, the timing was just a tiny bit off. Now he's only on six arrows, so... Uh, well, there's a five-pack at the top of the tower, and that should be yeah. enough to take care of Ganon. I think there was another one in that room he just went through. Well, yeah, there is, you know, for, for, for scrubs like you and me, we know that there's a five-pack there, and we can top yeah. off our arrows there as well, but there's oh, also... Oh, so close. But, uh, uh, but yeah, there, now there's a ten-pack, so you'll, you'll, have, you'll have arrows for days. So. Yeah, you're good. I guess I'm projecting my own issues from earlier in the run I had where basically nothing dropped arrows ever. <laughs> All right. I'm having a hard time deciding if there's a, uh, there's enough there's enough magic. Although oh, it looks like homemade beer switching the lamps. Yeah, lamp strats here. Yeah. You can actually do all four of these with the lamp. Um, but you don't have to. Yeah, but if you have if you have a half magic or half of your meter is full, you have enough for the four fire rod shots to make right. it work. So, yeah, and I of think course he there's was a, a little shy. Yeah, there. there's there's a there's a full decanter in that previous room if you need right. it. So. If, if he doesn't pick that up, something is weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Yeah, get that full magic for the game fight. And we've got a slash in, hopefully into a spin. Oh, okay. I, I don't know how that worked, but it did. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, Zero Rush using those silver arrows to great effect to take care of that itty bitty bitty committee and, uh, and uh, take bitty Vitreous down. That's seven crystals by Zero Rush's side. And hey, I respect the decision there for my homemade beer to go ahead and pick up that last chest on account of, hey, you're on three quarter hearts. You could get a full refill, which he did. Yeah. It's completely legitimate strat. All right, let's do some agonometry. No at all. All right, we got two hits on the first cycle. Those are some quite pink balls. 
And then, of course, Agnum decides I'm not gonna not gonna make uh, my shot reflectable, and I'm gonna mess up the other two reflectable shots as well. So, all there. right, there we go. So we uh, we basically wound up with a triple double there with one dead. It was last year. It's 2022. 2022. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> if, if only you could somehow make 2023, we could do the. I, I guess if you land like a double hit from two different things at the same time on the last one. <laughs> All right. All right. Here's how many beer we're dropping in on the Ganon fight. So this this should be pretty simple. So the only thing we're missing here to make this a little easier is butter sword. But homemade beers have got this. In the we bag. won't have butter sword. Yeah. Because that's not allowed. Yep. Not allowed in this, this setting. So it's just it does make me sad. Not gonna lie. That's okay. It just means twelve slashes instead of six. Fair enough. But of course, you can get butter sword damage with tempered spins, which is what uh, my beer's doing right now. Just stand right there above Ganon, and you can make your spins hit twice, and that, that's going to end phase two immediately. Yeah, that is the second best spot for Ganon to go to for that. Uh, it is possible to line yourself up there where you can spin and not move. Uh, yeah, it's but a little that's tricky. Very particular uh when when you're in the bottom when he's in the top right it just naturally pushes you to the right and you just stay up there yep and of course the trident during phase two has no hitbox so you do not have to worry about that all right one more hit here to turn us into phase four this looks like a good double setup all right, well done. Gonna, and we're probably going to set up for another double here. And yeah, this is going to do it. Down uh, goes Ganon. All right, get those GGs in the chat. Homie Beer's about to raise his hand in triumph to signal his got done here at the live event. And there we go. And that is going to do it. GG. Triangle. All right. Throw our runners here just a second here to collect themselves, and then we'll invite them down here for, for a quick interview. We're going to fight them down here? Invite them. Oh, okay. Invite them. I'm, I'm getting old, and I can't hear. <laughs> I don't think we should be fighting people right now, except in the field of rando. Yes. All right, it's been quite, it's quite a run. I, uh, I like it. It's good times. I mean, look at all the, look at all the junk on that tracker. Yeah. Look at all the junk on the that only tracker. Thing we did, we, the only thing we did not find was powder. So look at the junk on the tracker. Now look at the timer. Exactly. And just. You can you can f officially feel grossed out. Yep. Ah yep. yes, we have we have uh, we have microphones. Microphones so for people. We, are, we yes. can split it all up here and yeah. So we are joined by homemade beer, our our winner. So congratulations to you, GGS. I think it's on. Hello. Thank you. All right, and <laughs> see, we got zero rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah grab the grab the grab the red microphone. Scooch yeah, it in we'll, here. Yeah, we'll uh, zero rush over here. Yeah, we'll kind of bring it we'll in like we're we're on a we're on a big comfy sofa. Yeah, we'll we'll All pretend right, we like each other. <laughs> All right, well, GGs to y'all. All right, well, so then. so what did you think of that gnarly seed? <laughs> um, honestly, it was fine, other than the fact that I uh, hold everything. the microphone up. Sorry. Hello. Yeah. It was seed was fine, other than the fact that I played everything incorrectly. Um, it would have gone better if I could remember how Ice Palace worked. But that's uh, that's what happens when you don't play for long. That's, yeah. Um, I think I think it was like bow go mode. I think if I remember my timer, like fifty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, you. So almost you were, half the seed was yeah, looking you for were, a bow. Yeah, you were looking for a bow for quite some time. It was. Uh, it was. <laughs> It was not very fair where that bow was located, and of course the the second bow being behind the first bow was, uh, you know, a classic randomizer trick. So that yeah. was forcing you to, to go into a particular location <laughs> to, to get that that only bow that was available. 
So what, what was that feeling like when you finally did manage to, to get that bow? Because I, I think I saw something on your face when you, when you got it. What was, that, what was the thoughts going through your mind? Um, the, the main thought was I had forgotten where the mushroom was, like the whole seed. I like swore it was in the back of pot, and I knew it was probably bow locked, but I was wrong. Uh, the mushroom um, was in um, was in spectacle rock. The mushroom was uh, yeah. spec rock. Oh man, yeah. So you could you could have had that just early and well. The 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 thing that I got me the whole time was I thought you would have done ice looking for bombos before, but then uh, t- because TR was available, it's like okay, well no, let's just beat it. Yeah. So I don't remember where I got booked, but I forgot I had it. And that no, no, was no. my set Kane it, was my second to last item. It, it was, wasn't the book that you forgot. You didn't have a second sword while you were up there. Oh, okay. that's right. That you were just on fighters when you were yeah, by That's probably either. what it was. And yeah. I just wrote the wrote the book off entirely. It's like I can't do it anymore and I forgot about it. Okay, okay. Yeah. And so what we were we were kind of commentating down here is we were thinking that you were looking everywhere because you did not want to go back up the mountain to check Ether Tablet because you wanted to exhaust everything down low before you because you've basically gotten everything else up off the yeah. mountain. You'd, you'd cleared Hookshot Cave, you would cleared, you know, uh, Super Bunny and then East Death Mountain. It was just that lingering ether tablet up there, and I think that was... Was that was, was that kind of the case for you, or it was just... You just yeah, it, like, even when I went back up there at the end of the game, I did Spike Cave first, which is just, like, efficiency-wise, objectively incorrect. I mean... The basement and tablet, because I just really didn't... I was like, I really don't want this to be the thing, so... Um, but yeah, I think um, I guess there was a sword in Eastern. Uh, Saha's closet. Saha's closet. Yeah, because yeah. I think yeah. by the time I got there, oh, because you had the I, cape. I hit, I hit a twenty at some point. It might have been there. Maybe. So not going there early, I guess. Really. The the twenty. I think the twenty you saw was on Lake Island. Island. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> now another interesting thing that you know the, 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 the difference between the two of you uh, when you were running the sea. So you uh, saw that mitt, uh, the, the Titan's mitts over on Zora Ledge really early into the seed, and so you went ahead and set up the, um, uh, the water walk uh, glitch, or the double water walk glitch right after getting that moon pearl, which we'll talk about in a second, but you set up the double water walk to get that early, and then you, uh, Holy Beer, you did not get that, that mitt until very, very late in the seed, and so... Yeah, I died. <laughs> I died to the crabs, and so I'm like, well, I'm just never going back there until I get the flippers. Yeah, and so so that so that puts you very late to in, in, to to the mids. Do you think that might have helped you, or do you think that hurt you a little bit? Um, I actually played the whole seed like fully in logic, yeah. which I don't think that did anything. Finding that late, I think what it was was when I decided I did Turtle Rock before Hookshot Cave, and I said going in. There's just no mirror on the seed, you know? We're not going to find it. It's fine. <laughs> and if I had stuck to that principle and found it and pretended like I didn't, <laughs> you know, it wouldn't have felt like such an awful seed. But then I'm like, well, I did get a mirror, so let's clean that up. And then the reason why I left Meyer afterwards was because I went in. It was a god Meyer. What I, once I was entering it, I was thinking I should have checked Ped. I hadn't touched a pendant yet, like the whole seed. Well, I did the Front of Thieves. I should have checked Ped uh, because I had to beat Skull anyway. Then I would know, okay, if it's the bow's there, then I'll just go for that bow, and if it's the only one, whatever. But then once I left Meyer, I'm like, you know what? I'm just not coming back. I just don't want to come back. So. Well, turns out there I'm was nothing was else. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah. nothing else there there in Meyer. And of course, yeah, the other gross thing that I had completely forgotten about early on in the seed is both of you very early checked that lumberjack cave. What did you think about what you found there? <laughs> um, so. Lumberjack is always interesting because it, it, it's it's not like it's skippable, but it's a matter of when do you go get it. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I'm not going to worry about it. And then I saw the mitts, and it's like, I guess I got to go get it yeah. so I can get the mitts. That makes sense. <laughs> and I was Fair. hoping to like completely avoid pod, but it ended up, you know, by the... I certainly wasn't going to go to Ice Palace without the flippers, so yeah, yeah. I ended up over there anyway. I had to like basically double dip it. So. Yeah, that sounds like very similar thoughts, minus the mitts part in the middle. But yeah, I was like, I'm not going to pod first. Like, same thing. I was like, when do you get the moon from? I'm like, well, I could. The, the hard part for me was I didn't go up the mountain. I, I don't know if you did the same thing, where I said, I'm going to get it on the way up my first trip up the mountain. Yeah, I think um, I, so, I rescued yeah. old man and then left and then went back up later. Yeah, I thought about that play and I was like, ah, maybe I find the mitts down there. But I'm like, well, if the mountain has literally anything useful, which it didn't, then 
Uh, well, I had the mushroom. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I didn't get that till after here. Yeah. After I got the hammer, which is kind of funny. Yeah, and the hammer was another interesting uh, find as well because you you went and uh, and and cleared Skull Woods and got both items. You went in, found the fifty rupees oh, in that first chest, and, and then left. And then turned in the mushroom, and then went back, yeah. and then found the hammer, which probably worked out good, actually, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Um, weirdly enough, the hammer didn't really matter for much. Yes. Yeah. It could, yeah, it could have, but it turned, yeah, it did, 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 didn't turn out to be as big of a deal as we were, we were I worried mean, it, was, it might have. It was blocking the only bow, but that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after about you know twenty-seven other you know different different pieces in the logic puzzle, right? So yeah, uh, that yeah. was um, a mess. <laughs> I did want to ask. I'm sure you all noticed this. Is Specky Clip allowed in this tournament? I believe so. Okay. Yes. Because yes. I wasn't sure. And I was yeah. Like, I, I, all right. I we were. We were. We are going by the. I saw the hesitation the on here, and I was like, "Council rule set, which is, or not racing council, the ALTPTP are uh, racing Tark. community, T A R C. That's what I meant to say. That rule set." Which does include Specky Clip, so yes. Yeah, okay. I will remember that in the future. Yeah. So, I mean, so, I, I so you might. So, so, so in case, in case you're game. wondering, uh, there, there, there are some Tark admins here. Um, <laughs> yeah. <hello. laughs> yeah. Unfair so, advantage. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know the rules. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, I, that you reminded me too. I got clipped out of um, Death Mountain going up to Hera the second time. I got hit by a dead rock or uh, no, a boulder, and it clipped me through the ledge, and, and I short hopped. I quick hopped. And I was thinking about it, I'm like, you're probably supposed to reset. And I'm like, well, if I glitched and lost time, I don't think anyone's going to complain. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what ended up happening. You know, I was like... Okay, you got to tell me what's up with these weird bonks you're doing. <laughs> the bonks. Weird bonks. Oh, uh, I don't know about for beer, but I'm just not used to playing the LCD. I normally play well, No, like, there, was like, there was like a bonk like, like in the escape. Bombo's tablet. Bonks. What happened there? What did I do to Bombo's tablet? I don't even know. Well, it looked now. like you bonked in the middle of it. Or maybe that's just the sprite. Maybe. All right. So be. the, f- the first like weird bonk weird was bonk on the escape. Bonk. Like you okay. bonked into the pole bar to open the, uh, the the door to the back of Sanctuary. Oh, yeah. That, I saw um, uh, Kyung do that in, a, in an SGL tournament, actually. The last one he played. Is that a couple slightly years faster ago. or something? Or? I don't think. I think it's slower actually. It's, it's just, just more sw- swaggy. It's, it's swag. Cool. Okay. You it can slim. you can bonk the the final switch and escape in casual boots, and it and you and if you're pressing down, you auto pull it. Yeah. And I I think you've seen that. Maybe you've seen that. But oh yeah yeah yeah. I mean I know the tech. But is it's not faster probably I, right? I don't. I feel like it wouldn't be. So. Yeah. Probably. All right. Not. Well, all right. Well, we've got some new swag to try out for the rest of the rest of our yeah. matches. My 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 whole goal uh, was you know we talked about some of us talked about uh, dumb dumb routes to try and like make your escape faster. So I decided this whole tournament I'm just going to skip Link's house and uh, hope it's not like a. Uh, yeah. All right. We were we were worried. <laughs> we were wondering about that. You just like walked out the door and right? I was like, well, you're what? Do what? That what? Until okay, the that's a choice. <laughs> and then you're going to feel bad. <laughs> Or be like Julo and skip the back of Escape 2, and then it's the cape. All so. right. <laughs> well, I don't know exactly what we have on deck here uh, coming up. All, All right. right. Cool. All right. So it sounds like we're going we're going offline for this channel for now. So we'll be back later with some more randomizer action, whether that be uh, Link to the Past or Zooter or some one of the other many speed gaming uh, um, live races here. So I guess real quick. So this puts you at two and one within yeah, groups right one. now. Uh, this was your first race, so that makes you zero and one for for right now. But that's you've how got I started too. You can do right. it, I believe. All right, but yeah. <laughs> so top top. The, the top finisher in your group moves on. The second place gets a chance to move on in a play-in race. And so both of you st- are still in the mix, mm-hmm. right? So, but uh, you guys got to keep going and uh, keep racing. And uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. And yeah. we'll uh, hopefully see you guys back here this weekend uh, fighting it out in the, uh, in the rackets. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, GG's again. GG. Okay. All right. I think we're going to be signing off here really soon. Yep. So thank you, Dr. Bob. Yep. That was a great Absolutely. commentary session. I really appreciate commenting yep. with you. Hope, hopefully I get to do some more of these over the weekend. Oh, yeah. This is always going to be a great time. Absolutely. All right. Again, be sure to follow our runners. That was Homemade Beer and Zero Rush. So. Mm-hmm. And make sure to tune into all of the other wonderful Speed Gaming events here happening here at Speed Gaming Live. Uh, it's, going to be a, it's going to be a thing. It's going to be a weekend. It's going to be... Pretty good. It's going to be fun. All right. See you all later.